Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Real Hazardous. We're out here fishing, catching some tuna. Pretty crowded, pretty crazy, but uh, it's fun, so stay tuned and see what happens. So real quick, put out the spread. We're out here at the Marathon Humps and we know tuna is a big thing out here. So my spread is a little more tuned to tuna. What do you do, Jeremy? Take that one down there? Yeah, yeah. Hey. There you go. You want some? Come here, Lori. No, no, yeah. I don't want it. I've caught so many. Come here. Yeah. Here you go. Uh, hold this up a little bit. This will make things a lot nicer. Yeah. There we go. You see, I like to run these black, um, black and purple or black and red, dark flies, and the CNH rattle jet. I usually run a mix of those, three of them, one way back, one pretty good ways back, and one uh, just a ways back. But they're all, you know, far. Then up close, I usually run something like Ballyhoo, maybe a swimming Ballyhoo, and a Ballyhoo on like an Alien XL. And I'll put out two teasers of squid. See how these things? These fins go totally flat in its body. Oh, yeah. It turns into a bullet. Oh, man. You can see even right there, like, oh, yeah. it'll turn and go oh. totally flat. That's cool. So she's going to pull it in right at the back. There it is, that top. Yeah. Then yeah. keep it coming like that, and you won't keep it with me diving and All right. All right, keep it skimming on top, Lori. It's kind of pandemonium sometimes, isn't it, when a fish are biting? I hear something. I've heard a sonic boom before, but that guy came close. He went down, went upside down. He was inverted. Oh, what oh, you got there? Barracuda. Oh my god. Ah! I'm not, I don't want to hold that one. Actually, if you were going to eat a barracuda, this would be the size of one you'd want. There's your. If I'd have had a rifle, I'd have cut a couple of them out of them. <laughs> I think he thought he was being funny, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. You see how low he was? Yeah. yeah. He was real low. Done. See how the bird's back there, guys? Yeah. Right where our lures are? Okay. Hey, we're get, about to get a double header probably because right. we got birds right here. All right. Okay. Is that another tuna, JJ? Yeah. I bet this is a tuna. There he is at the top. Oh, way out there. Yeah. yeah, I think this one's back to Tikami Beach here. <laughs> oh, yeah. See, this is right where we got in the last two. Oh, here, here it comes, here it comes. Look at that. You should get a video of that. Yeah. Look at that. 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 Navy Warplane, you on this channel? So far, we're uh, two tuna on the pink floro. Hang on, it's tangled. Uh, uh, that hook's tangled. You don't catch as many that way. <laughs> from, from my experience. <laughs> Work in the humps, it's very important to stay in the right area. And that's. Uh, First and foremost, the, the best area is where you're getting fish. Um, and the current's pretty fast. So we caught a couple fish and you know there were a lot of boats around, it was crowded, and you kinda gotta you know dodge them sometimes. And before you, we know it, we're like a mile from the spot. I look back at our GPS, say, hey, we need to go back here. Now the birds are moving like back and forth. Some boats would chase the birds, and sometimes, yeah, you do chase the birds, but a lot of times I'm just going back to our spot and typically the birds are just kind of swinging side to side so you know even if the birds aren't there at the moment usually by the time i catch a fish and loop back and get to the spot they're coming back around through me which indicates the bait is probably underneath me somewhere oh man that's that's a good one right here. 
It's on the pink floor, that one's killing it. No, is it in this way, or this line, or what? Uh, no, you're good. Yeah, you're good. Yeah. That sucker was taking some drags, huh? All right, guys, let's keep it up. Good job. Yeah. 40 pound long leader, the wine on swivel. It's yeah. caught, it's just had three fish. I've got good news, we can only keep 10 black fin, so. <laughs> You get this one in, only six more to go. Hey guys, it's been a, it's been a good bite so far. They're hanging in one spot. It took us a minute to find it, but now that we have, we, we seem to be hitting them pretty steady. Yeah, I want to. That current's blasting. It's real important for me to get us going into the current as soon as we can, and then we'll stay on them better. Oh okay, yeah, you're close. Just keep reeling, keep reeling. Just keep reeling. Let's wind on. Yeah. There we go. Oh yeah. Man, that is that is the rod to beat. That is the rod right there. Well, we got another one, one of those same lures out now. Yeah, pretty soon we're gonna be getting two at a time, guys. There's a bird back there. Oh yeah. This is great. Let everyone else stay over there. Yeah. Give us some space. Stay safe in that same spot. Be okay. Yeah. yeah, check the... Oh yeah. They I just, there. I mainly go to the spot and I know the birds are coming back at some point, so... You got him coming there, Lori? Yes, sir. He has a line out on him, didn't he? Yeah. You know, I've been letting a lot of line out on this one if that makes a difference. Or not. It does. With the tuna? Yeah. Farther away, the better. Good fish. Where's he going? Is that easier right there? Sir? Is that easier for you? Yes, sir. Thank you. You don't have to say yes, sir. <laughs> Makes you feel old, doesn't it, JJ? It does. I tell him, I answer to anything. Somebody hollers out a bad word, I think they're talking to me anyhow. <laughs> there we go. Yes. We're getting some good quality fish. All right, now we're back on the troll. We got two of those rigs out. Those are my stealth rigs that I want to try. I'm happy that they're working nice. So now we got two. We're going to see if we can uh, double them up. Got them on the drop back. All right. This is a different rod, but the same stealth rig. So it's not the reel. Seems like it's the rig so far. Uh, fish on? You got him? Uh, double stealth rigs. There we go. Alright Tim, work him in. I'll tell you what, when I was in the tower last year fishing, I'd run that one way out. And I'd see him come up. Bam! And they'd be really like, how far is that out? It's about eight miles. Ah, geez. Ouch. <laughs> well, I didn't know you were still ducking down. <laughs> I was standing there. Uh, Skippy. Skip that. Whoa! Sorry. <laughs> I guess he can that, Gillen. So what are these things about? They're good to eat. Skipjack tuna. Look at the colors on that thing. I know, it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, he feels pretty good. I did just put the teaser out. I don't know if that helps. That teaser oh, was about as far back as that line was. That's a good fish. Good fish? Yeah, it was kind of kind of shut down for a second. The bite slowed down, and the birds kind of disappeared. And uh, just check this. Just put it out and got hit. 
got wind on. Nice fish, nice fish. Ready? Oh. There we go. Right, just get one back out there and catch another one. Yeah. Stealth rig. Since tuna. Oh, nice fish, Kevin. Look at it. Big old black fin. Hold up, hold up. <laughs> hey, I think yeah. you spotted him. Like an old bass sitting up on the bed there. Fish on! You got one up there? I got one up here. Yeah, going. Who wants it? You want to fight it, Dad? Yeah. <laughs> that was a good move. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Alright, you got it? Almost, I'm not quite over it. Uh, here, here, go ahead, I'll get it. Here, you fight it. Ready? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> that was a double header, real quick, guys. Yeah, it was. What took you so long? Yeah. We got a double, the daily double. Put everything up to go home. Seen a few birds. I oh, will put them out real quick. Boom, two fish on. All right, who's going to win? The race is on. <laughs> the race is on. I have All to put right, it in low pretty, speed to win. It's pretty close. Pretty close run here. All right, Jeremy looks like he might be gaining on it. He's kicking it up. Corey's running in second place. Corey, I'll Here we go, here we go. All right, they're coming in, they're coming in, they're coming in. I'm uh, no color yet, no color. Uh-oh, Corey's catching up. Corey's catching up. Who's gonna yeah. win? Yeah, Which fish makes that last here. hard run? <laughs> keep it going, keep it going. Let's see what Four we hours. see what oh, we yeah. got. All right, Jeremy, I got color. Hang it. Got color on Jeremy. Wow, nice looking yeah. fish though. That looks like a bigger fish. Any bigger one, Jeremy? Here's mine. I see it. Oh man, look at the size of that. Get his butt in there. Like. All right, look at Lori. She's coming. She's in. I see the color. Oh, that's a nice one too. Oh yeah, look at those. Both of those are bigger than all the others, aren't they, Jeremy? They look big from up here. Look at that color. Right in his eye. Cleaning blackfin tuna is pretty simple. Grab the tail and start cutting up along the backbone. Then cut right by the head in an angle to free the fillet from the fish. Flip the fish over and do this on the other side as well. You can save the belly meat if you want for putting on your uh, jigs. There's a little bit of meat on the side you can cut out as well. If you're staying at a canal, don't forget to poke the eyes out so when you throw the fish into the water, it sinks to the bottom. Otherwise, they'll float and uh, kind of create a hazard and a bad smell for everyone around you. What we like to do is split it down the middle first because there's a little bit of a curvature to the fillet. So splitting it makes it easier to lay the fillet flat and then cut the skin off. So once you have it flat, just go ahead, keep your knife close to the fillet table flat and just run it down and cut that skin off. If you miss some of the skin on the fillet, a lot of times you can just peel it off. You can cut that bloodline out, which is that dark red spot along the side. Go ahead and repeat the process for the other piece of the fillet. 
Although on this piece, besides cutting the bloodline out, there may be some bone in there. You'll want to cut that out as well. And feel along, if you feel the rib cage, go ahead and cut that out too if it's still on there. Now just grab the other side of the fish and repeat the process. Cut it in half, cut the skin off, then cut the bloodline and any bones along the side out. A lot of people ask, how do you cook tuna? And the good news is, you can cook it however you want. Usually on a poor quality fish meat, you may have to do more preparation, but something as good as tuna, you can eat it raw, or you can cook it pretty much any way. If you want to fry it, if you want to grill it, blackened tuna is good, really whatever your preference is. All right guys, hope you all enjoyed the video. It's a great time fishing with Tim and Lori, of course my dad and Kayla. Uh, had fun catching the uh, tuna, it's pretty cool finding them. I was pretty excited, my stealth rig worked really well. Um, I'll do a video showing you guys how I rigged that, so it might help you out, but uh, overall it was a great day. We had a lot of fun, I'm glad they were biting and the weather was good for a change. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see y'all next time.